Welcome back to the ASUS Stars Invite Tournament on StarCraft 2 here in Helsinki, Finland. Are you ready for the finals? Excellent. Now we've had huge matches before, but now it all comes down to this. We have two players ready to start the matches. On this corner, we have the fearsome player from North America. Release the Kraken! I draw from Evil Geniuses! So, I draw. I'm pumped. Are you pumped? Yeah. So pumped that you could actually lift some? Sure. Wait, yeah, sure. Okay. Well, against you, we're gonna have an awesome player from Korea. Sup Song, get on stage! Dignitas Select! <laughs> so, how are you feeling about this final tournament game? Uh, not bad. So, you're ready? To smash him? Yeah. You ready to smash him? Yeah. So, shake hands, play nice, get your places, and Total Biscuit and Apollo, please continue from here. Well, well. What a fantastic finals we have coming up for you. Well, Absolutely. apparently there's going to be a bit of smashing going on. I'm okay with smashing. I think smashing's good. It's, it's a good, good, healthy way to take out your StarCraft. Especially in a final. Definitely. Best of seven. Every single map in the map pool will be used now. They'll have to go the full distance. And uh, Idris already stated that you know, he's not too happy about that. As uh, he said that yes. two maps are good for him, but five are not. Mm. So uh, that is something to keep in consideration. Yeah, I think the thing he was most concerned about was Zelnaga Caverns and the way that obviously Terran can play on that, the way that Select can play on that. And he almost considers it an automatic loss, but you never know, honestly. Yeah. I mean, what Idris says and then what Idris then goes and does are two different things. And you can never <laughs> underestimate it on any map. Yeah, so the map pool that we are going to be laid out with is the Shattered Temple to begin with. Then we will be going on to Metalopolis, a great map for Idra there. Really heavily favored towards Zerg. Uh, and then the third map after that will be Zelnog Caverns. That is the tough one for Zerg there against yep. a decent Terran, against any Terran, I guess you could Definitely, say. Definitely, yeah. Uh, fourth one then, Taldra Mortar, nice large map. Uh, and then going into the fifth one, Shakur's Plateau, slightly favored a little bit towards Terran there as well. Uh, and then the sixth map, Antigua Shipyard, and the final destination, if we go the full distance, will be Terminus SE. And it would not surprise me to see us going the full distance on this one, between these two. This is a close one to call. Um, Idra has got a little bit of an advantage in terms of their history together. Idra has basically won three series compared to just one that Select has won across the years now. Oh, well, in StarCraft Two last year and this year. Uh, and overall, the game tally as well. Idra, 11 wins versus Select's only five. Mm. And Idra really confident going into this. On the other hand, though, we have not seen Select go into beast mode for a long time. Ever since he's been in Korea, FXO Training House, his Terran versus Zerg has definitely changed. Yes, it really, really has. And uh, that, I think, is going to be obvious. It was made quite clear during the series with Damaga that his uh, TVZ is getting a lot stronger. He prefers Terran v Protoss. But he is going against Idra, who does play extremely well it's in the ZVT matchup. matchup. It it's is. his best matchup by far, and it always has been his best matchup. And uh, it looks like both of these players are ready to go now. So let's get this underway. Always a good thing. The countdown has begun. Is the crowd ready for this? <laughs> I think that's finished for yes. <laughs> Roar! Yeah, pretty much. And then we get invaded. It's horrible. And they steal all <laughs> the things. It's bloody Vikings. All right, folks. Here we go. This is going to be fantastic. Going to be an amazing final here at the Asus Republic of Gamers Tournament. It's brought to you by Asus and NVIDIA. It is my pleasure to introduce to you our Zerg player for this first match. He's from Team Evil Geniuses, making his way all the way through to the finals with extremely convincing wins against both Sho and White Ra. Now facing his toughest challenge in this tournament, the Mighty Dignitas Select, and it is my pleasure to give you in the blue trunks to the east of this map. Give it up for Idra! And his opponents, if there were to be a popularity contest between these two, it would go on a very, very long time indeed, looking at the support here from this audience. Both of these players equally loved, equally respected in this scene. He is from the much-loved and much-respected team Dignitas. He is in the Red Trunks playing Terran to North. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Select!
And already we have aggression coming out of select. Look at that SCV in the middle of the map. We are going to have a planted proxy barracks coming down here. And a little bit of a mishap, though, with select. Did try to scout out that overlord and just sees it now. Uh, so he's only just now exactly sure where Idra is. And uh, we will be seeing Idris send out a drone. Well, no, actually, he's going to go for 14 hatch. Not a drone scout this early on. He has got that overload spotting everything. And uh, all of a sudden, we're going to have a barracks right outside. But that overload, is it going to stay put, which it should do normally to spot for any bunkers? Or is it just going to go that little bit further? And it does stay still on the natural here of Idra. It is staying there. It has no idea about this incoming. Possibly the SUV, after constructing the barracks, may come from that direction and uh, that may give away a bit of a tell. It might. It very well might. I don't think Select is going to make that mistake, honestly. If he's going to scout, and I think he's going to scout with the SCV that's coming from this main ramp so as to not indicate what exactly mm. is going on here. Trademark Korean style of play, trademark aggressive opening from Select, and this is going to be a little bit of a surprise right here for Idra. His spawning pool is not prepared yet. He's got no gas at all, so he will be relying at least to deal with his first few Marines entirely oh, on drones. This Marine is just outside the range of the Overlord, just a few pixels away from actually oh, spotting wow. that. And uh, Idra has no idea. He is now transferring drones down to go ahead. And it has been revealed a single Marine now is there. Idra is only building two links. He's been a little bit greedy and squeezed in more drones. He can now build more links, but it's a little bit delayed. And there's a lot of pressure coming down. If he loses that overlord as well, that is so big. Yeah, and he's got spotting range up there as well because he's got the SCV. Down goes the Overlord. That is a serious supply block to start off with this engagement. And that gives Select an edge in order to push those bunkers forward. This spine crawler is the next obstacle for Select. Wow, this is going to be really difficult for Idri. He has to stay calm and patient here. But the thing is, this second bunker, if that completes, he's going to be in range of that hatchery. He's using these SCVs really well as well. Select in fantastic oh, position. And the spine the spy crawler is gone. GG. Wow. Okay, that's an interesting start to a best of seven series. Well, that's that's Select in a nutshell. He's capable of doing that. I mean, we've seen all these really long macro games, and we just saw Select from several months ago where he was known for bunker rushing, Macarax, proxy barracks like you saw right there. And it's enough to give you the first game in the best of seven series. It gives you the momentum, and it perhaps throws your opponent a little bit. It was a really aggressive play. It worked extremely well. And Select needed a win anyway on that map, even if it was early or later on. As we go into the second map, as mentioned, is going to be Metalopolis, this Zerg-favored map. So even if Select was to lose this map now, it would have been horrible to go down into a 0-2 situation in a best of seven series. Though leading that first game is going to give him a great boost. And even if he does lose on this Zerg favored map, that's 1-1. Going into Zalnoga Caverns, the third map, that's pretty good for him. And a really good out the gate opening play. Yep, nothing wrong with that. It worked, it did the job, and it puts him one game ahead, but still everything to play for in this Best of Seven series. We are going to take a very short commercial break, and we'll be back with Game 2 in just a few short moments' time.